how to set up your daycare's website in order to grow your business. My name is Christina Rosacos, and in this video, we're going to be talking about your website and how to leverage it properly so that you can position it in a way that is going to allow you to get more traffic on it in order to get more parents to start conversations with you, book tours, book visits with you, and also that is going to be able to help grow your daycare center. So if you're new to my world, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and you follow the channel for weekly marketing trainings. Um, let's get started, you guys. Okay, so a website is something that is definitely necessary um, when you're running any type of business. Now, it does not have to be as developed as some may think, but you need to have your own place on the www on the world wide web you just have to um it looks professional um parents can actually hop on these websites and get more information on you um you can start email lists i mean you can do a lot of things with your website but you really have to put up a website that is mobile friendly um and that really is going to help you grow your home daycare so how do you do that well the first thing you want to think about is when someone lands on your page is it skimmable parents well most people these days do not have uh you know a really really long attention span so you want to make sure that when someone does land on your website whether they landed there from google whether they searched for you whether they were referred to you whether you know they were on facebook and they landed on your website after one of your posts you want to make sure that when you do get them on your page that they can skim through your copy, the words on your page. You want to make sure that when they're on this page that they know the first few seconds, why should they choose you, right? So when you're putting your website together, it's really important to think about things like this, right? Are your pictures high definition? Do you have videos? Is that a quality video? Do you have pictures of yourself, pictures of your center, um, a little bit about your program, a little bit about your mission and your vision statement? Do you have um, uh, a little bit more about why, where you fill in the gap in your community, what your unique selling points are, why they should say yes to you versus the home daycare down the street. So these are all important things to think about when you're putting your website together so that you can increase the chances that a mom and dad actually stays on your page, but more importantly, reads through your copy, okay? The other thing you want to think about is when you're putting your page together, you want to make sure that you have all your plugins on all the pages, right? So your if you have a YouTube channel, make sure you link it. If you have a Facebook or Instagram account or a Pinterest account or a LinkedIn account, make sure that you have all those little plugins um, available for someone. So if they decide to follow you on social media and ask you some more questions, then they don't have to go through all the page and to try to find you. Um, you want to make sure that on every single page, especially at the, to at the top of the page, that your address is clearly stated, your email list, your phone number, and basically how they can contact you, right? We want to take all the guesswork out and we want to make sure that we are giving them as much as from information as possible so that they can stay on your page and that they know exactly where to click if they want to take that next step. Now, Leveraging your website and really just growing your business with it. Um, it can be done real simply by setting it up properly, making sure that it's mobile friendly, making sure that all the links are working, making sure that it is optimized so that you have all the right keywords plugged in in all the right places so that when a mom and dad in your community actually searches for, I don't know, bilingual Montessori daycare near me, then guess what? If you are a bilingual Montessori near that address that they are searching for, then your center and your website is going to pop up when they are searching, right? So you want to make sure that you're setting your, your, your website up so that it can be found when a local mom and dad is actively searching for a daycare or child care services or a Montessori program near them, right? So you have to make sure that it's optimized and you have to make sure that um, the copy and all the words are in the right places so that Google can find it and bring it up when someone searches. Now, the other thing you want to think about is making sure that you have some type of form that is going to entice them to leave you their name and their email address. Okay. So again, this does not have to be too difficult. You can just have one form. Um, and this is a great way for you to start building that email list so that you can communicate back with them. If you do have an open house coming up, or if you want to mention something that is happening, a special event or, um, you know, come meet the staff night or whatever it is that you're organizing in your daycare, you want to make sure that you have a pool of clients that you can email. So with a click of a button, you can send out an invite right? So you would do that off of your website and you would 
most of the time what I see clients do is they, they, they offer some type of incentive. So a promotional code or, you know, a wave, uh, a waiver on the, um, the application fee or, you know, um, get a free iPad. If you sign up before this date, get a free t-shirt, a free uniform, a free backpack, whatever it is. Right. So a lot of, there's a lot of ideas out there, but basically find something that you can offer as an incentive. Again, it could be a promo code, a small discount, um, a t-shirt, right? And then just mention that and ask them if you're interested to sign up to our newsletter, or if you want to get some more information about our next open house, or if you want to, you know, get a discount code sent directly in your inbox, drop your email below and we'll send it right over. This is a great way for you to really grow your email list again. And when you are actively enrolling kids, then you have a pool of clients that actually gave you their, their name and their email addresses and, and that they want to be contacted by you, right? If not, they wouldn't have given you their name and their email information. You have to make sure that when you are leveraging your website and you're putting all the pieces together, that you're not copying and pasting. They're not, you're not making this super long. You're not making this into this, uh, you know, huge thing where someone has to click here and then click over there to find what they're looking for. Again, we are positioning our business in front of our clients and we are, um, we are making this as simple as possible for them so that they can get in. They know exactly why they should choose you. And then they know exactly, you know, what you offer a little bit about you and then how to contact you. We want to make sure that we're always, um, we're always, uh, making this, this, this experience of someone landing on your website as simple as possible, as quick as possible, and as pleasing as possible, um, giving them the right information and really just allowing them to get a sense as to who you are, um, a little bit about your program. And they know, like parents know, as soon as they land on someone's website, yes, this is for me or no, not really. And they just move on to the next thing, right? So you want to make sure that when you're putting your site together, that you're always thinking about these things. What do they want to see? What do they want to hear? What can I share that's going to entice them to give me their name and their email address? And then you just take it from there. So I hope that this video um, helped you. I hope that it really gave you some new ideas about your website, how to put it together, and how to really leverage it to grow. You know, and I know a lot of home daycare providers say, well, I don't need a website. I, I have a Facebook business page and that's enough. Not really. You know, having a Facebook and Instagram account is great and it's definitely important in today's world, right? You want to have your presence online, but you don't own that data. You don't know those followers. You don't own that information. Anything that you're posting online, if it goes dark tomorrow, you've lost everything. So you have to make sure that you are directing people back on your website so that they can get more information about you. They can contact you directly. They can sign up for your newsletter. Uh, you know, eventually they could book a tour with you directly on their web on your website and really just start growing your business that way. And of course, organically by, you know, by plugging in the right keywords and, and allowing Google to go to work and really do the work for you. Right. Um, and Facebook, yes, it's great. And Instagram as well. Um, but it's just a part of your marketing, uh, a marketing engine. It's not the only thing, right? So don't put all your eggs in one basket. You need to diversify. Um, and let me know if you guys have any questions about marketing and your daycare, make sure you follow the page. Make sure you like, and you subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you are a home daycare provider and you are in need of marketing help, let's say you are running a small home daycare and you're stuck with social media, creating posts, uh, marketing, you're tired of Googling for hours or YouTubing for hours, trying to find what you're looking for, then I have an open house that you can would definitely love to attend. Um, I think it's super valuable if you are, again, a home daycare provider and you need help, you need that push with your marketing. Um, I run a marketing membership specifically designed for home daycare providers. And I basically train and help them grow their businesses organically. So with social media marketing, um, we do a lot of fun things and I'm actually hosting an open house in just a few days. So if you want to grab a seat, if you want to check it out, it's free to join. Um, I'll drop the link in the um, description of the video. So all you have to do is just click there and enter your name and your email information. And then that's it. Make sure that you're checking your inbox. I send you a Zoom link and then you hop on and you listen. I'm going to open up the doors to my membership and I'm just going to show you exactly how I help my clients grow their home daycares organically without spending a dime on ads. Um, other than that, have an amazing rest of your day, you guys. Again, if you have any marketing questions, comment underneath this video. I'll go back and I will answer them and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye for now.